Hi, and welcome to Dishcraft. My name is Cassie, and I'm your host, and you are looking at a few things that are going in my midwinter giveaway. That's right, guys. I have a bunch of really amazing stuff that I am giving away, and I'm about to show that to you. But first, I've got to show you what you need to do to enter. Um, not going to be very hard. Um, first off, just wanted to let you guys know this is open to the United States and Canada only. Um, if you are outside of the United States and Canada, I'm so sorry, but I my my channel is just not big enough for me to be able to financially um, ship packages out that far. If you want to help me to get to the point where I can ship it worldwide, however, all you need to do is make sure that I either get to 5,000 subscribers or 50 channel members, okay? So whenever I hit one or the other, whichever one comes first, then I'll be shipping worldwide when I have my giveaways. So that said, a couple of more things. Number one, you need to watch this video all the way to the end, okay? Because otherwise you won't know what I'm giving away and you won't know how to enter, all right? And the second thing is I always post a video with the winner and I pick the winner on the video. So if anybody sends messages, um, like leaves a comment or gets a hold of you in any way, um, asking for you to email them personal information, text them, whatever. That's not me. They might steal my picture and pretend like they're me, but it's not me. And the best thing that you can do is either report it or let me know about it and I'll report it and, and I'll make sure it gets deleted and all of that good stuff. All right. So now we've got that out of the way. We are going to go through all of the amazing things in this giveaway. and It is huge, okay? <laughs> so bear with me. I'm going to try to go through it quickly so that I don't take up too much of your time. But um, let's go ahead and start with these. So what are these? These are long crochet hooks. So for those of you who did not see my mis uh, Mystery Box Monday this week, I got um, some really amazing um, Tunisian crochet hooks from... Goucher yarns, which I very, very highly recommend in one of my mystery boxes. And um, so I was really excited because I want to learn how to do Tunisian crochet. It's just something I've always been wanting to um, pick up. I know that there are some techniques to it that are similar to knitting, but because it's done with a crochet hook, it should be a little bit easier for me to pick up. Now I do know how to knit, but I, I prefer crocheting. So we've got a whole Tunisian crochet set, which I'm giving away to whoever wins this giveaway so that you guys can have some equipment to use when I come to the channel sometime in the next year and talk about Tunisian crochet. So I'm really, really excited about that. So these are, um, these are the metal ones. And the reason why I picked these to give away is that I really think that these are going to be the easiest ones to use. I do know that sometimes um, yarn gets kind of snagged on the wooden hook. So I wanted to make sure I gave you the most user friendly ones. We've got all the way from two millimeter to eight millimeter in sizes and everything in between. Um, I also have this really nice bag. Um, it says good stuff on it and I, it's a made of a leathery material. I don't believe it's actually leather, um, but I got it from Hobie a long time ago and I, it just was too big for me to put crochet hooks in. But look at this, these Tunisian crochet hooks fit perfectly in here. So, um, making sure you have a nice big bag for your Tunisian crochet hooks. Um, in addition to that, I have these really awesome um, sheep stitch markers. Now these are knitting stitch markers. They can also work on Tunisian crochet hooks because you just put these little um, circles around the hooks, okay? And it'll help you keep track of your spaces. So they're, they're these cute little sheep. And if you, um, want some crochet sheep um, stitch markers. I do sell those in my in my Etsy store. I make them with charms that are just like these. So I uh, just wanted to show that to you. They are so pretty, aren't they? So I have those in here. And then I also have, um, these are a bunch of teas. It's like a tea set and then like a cupcake or a muffin maybe, tea bags. You know, I, I'm not quite 
certain where I got it. It's um, from a needle runs through it. Have no idea how I got it, but I do want to say that I am going to be including these in here as well. Again, these are knitting stitch markers, Artinesian crochet stitch, stitch markers, so they should work for you. All right. So <laughs> I know that not everybody knows how to Tunisian crochet. So I also have um, a full set of aluminum crochet hooks. Um, this goes all the way up to 10 millimeters. And the smallest one in this set is a 3.5 millimeter. Let me make sure this might actually be smaller. Oh, 2.5 millimeter. Okay. So we have from 2.5 millimeters to 10 millimeters in this aluminum crochet hook set. Um, and I have a second notions bag. Oh, see, it's all nice and wintry. And we are going to go ahead and put these in here because that's that's where they go, right? Um, so in addition to all those, we have some more notions. I have um, a couple of measuring tapes. You know, we've got the one that pulls out here. And then this one, I've just have found that it's better to take um, body measurements with these. So I've got a couple of those. In fact, I'm going to fill up this good stuff with some of the bigger ones. I have got one of those beautiful heron scissors. This one is um, a silver and it has a little thing here that goes over its beak. I'm not going to pull on it. Okay. <laughs> um, so it, it does have a safety place right there. Go ahead and put that in there. Um, I have a stitch counter. So in order to use this, you turn it on by pressing the big button. Okay. And then you press the big button every single time you end a row. Okay. And when you're done or when you want to clear it then you just press the small button hold it down and it will reset back to zero all right so we have a row counter that'll go in here we've got a keychain with little crochet hooks on him i always love these i love to include these in my giveaways so i am <laughs> and then we have the um, diaper pin stitch marker bag and that is that has some of these plastic um, yarn darning needles and then we have these metal needles as well the metal needles can either be used with yarn or even as a tapestry needle okay there's there's uh, four different sizes you get I think about 20 um, diaper pen stitch markers, so you've got those. And I'm getting out my yellow bag. Do you guys know what my yellow bag's for? <laughs> okay, so for those of you who don't know, on Etsy I do um, sell my st stitch markers, um, but and I make my own, but every so often I will come across some really strange stitch markers that I get, and they just do not go in a set. Maybe I have an extra, um, like a, an extra character that would make a full set except I have an extra one so I'll, I'll put those in this bag and then I will also just put random stitch markers that just don't go anywhere okay I just can't figure out how to do them now um I do sell these as a mystery stitch marker pack okay I do have some of those on Etsy but I always like to draw five for my giveaways so here we go the first stitch marker is this little um this is a oh what are they called tabby cats it's an orange tabby cat the thing that's different are in are diff like the thing about this that's different is that it has um this color um collar all of my other ones that came with this with the charms had a i believe it's a red collar or a green collar but it's not that color so <laughs> this little guy is gonna be in here what else do we have so that's the one Oh, look at this. I thought this was so cute. It's a little happy face sun with some clouds, which is really sweet and cute. I just couldn't put this in a set. I didn't know what, like what kind of theme that would be. So we have two. All right, three more, guys. All right, what is this? Oh, <laughs> yes, I don't know what this is. What is it? What is that? Here, let me put it in my hand so you don't get distracted. I don't know what that is. It's like a star in the middle of like, like it looks like a magnifying glass and then there's a star and then there's like little, it looks like wings here too. 
like I was thinking this looks like something out of like an old video game like one of the ones when I was a kid like in the 90s <laughs> but I have no idea or maybe like a Pokemon thing I don't know what it is but it's a stitch marker now and it's going in this giveaway so we have two more here is one of them oh this was an extra butterfly I love these little butterflies. They're so pretty. Look at that one. It's like this kind of iridescent pink color. Really pretty. Yeah. And then one more. The last one will be... Oh, look! Another butterfly. So you guys get two butterflies, but different ones. I really liked how this one has all sorts of different little colors on it. It just didn't match the other butterflies that I had, so I decided to keep it um, apart. So those are going to be the extra stitch markers for you guys. Um, so just kind of putting that aside. They all have the lobster clasps and the lobster clasps are really big. They can fit up to size six um, yarn. So, all right, <gasps> zippering these up. <laughs> all right, so I can talk now that I've kind of cleared off the table about the two bags that I'm, I've got for you guys. One of them is this Lion Brand bag. Now it's kind of flimsy, but it is, it's very wide at the bottom here. And I found these to be very durable, okay? I use these bags myself for my um, project bags. They're really big. And so you can even take like Afghan projects with you. So I really love mine. Um, it's just know that I, at first, like if when you first touch it, it might feel like it's not very durable, but it is, at least in my experience, they have been. I wouldn't like recommend using it as like, I don't know, to lug water around with, right? <laughs> but it's really good for a project. So I wanted to mention that. And then I had, um, I, I always like to give these kind of like canvassy um, cotton, totes here. This one's just a, um, it's an off-white color, not perfectly white, but um, I'm going to put some of this stuff in here because I, I don't have enough room <laughs> to show everything on the table all at once. So I'm going to start putting some of this stuff away. So what is this under here? What is this? Oh look, it's more stuff. More stuff. Okay, so what do we got here? So first off, I've got my signature Common Crochet coloring books. I really don't want to spoil it for anybody who's like, oh, it's so magical to get these, but I did finally find where you can purchase these. Um, they sell them on Amazon, actually. So just know that. <laughs> um, and then I like to include a, another one. And so this one is Cityscapes. I was just thinking about in the winter, I know that at least my family, that's when we typically take our um, vacations or bigger vacations. Like one time we went to Ireland. Um, it, it was actually in November, but I thought, you know, um, Cityscapes, it could, it could get you, um, the, I give you the idea to travel around the world, especially if you're in the best place you can be for Christmas, which is home. Well, I guess it depends on the family, <laughs> but, but yes, <laughs> yes. So we've got these cityscapes. I know not all of us are blessed with a, with a wonderful family. So, um, so anyway, we've got, so, and, and then the calming crochet, these are just like crochet motifs in here. And it's, I think it's cute. So I'm going to put these away. Of course, I have my 24 colored pencils, Crayola. Okay, I, I know that the, the, the other brands just aren't as good. Um, and then I always like to in, include some kind of um, crochet journal. So this is a project journal that can help you keep track of your projects. I probably would not be able, I mean, you know what, I, I'm glad that I have one because if I didn't, I wouldn't be able to recreate hardly any of my patterns. Um, it, I like put down what kind of yarn I use, 
what the hook size was, you know, it, you know, obviously if the pattern's in my head, you know, I indicate that, or if I'm working from a pattern or whatever, it's just so nice to have very quickly um, what, where you've, what you've been working with. Um, and it also shows you all the stuff that you've made. Um, it's like, I didn't realize I made so much stuff until I started keeping um, a crochet journal. So, um, this <laughs> this is just a, a really great tool to have again it's going in the bag because i really do not have enough room and then i also just like to include these field books it's just a line notebook it's not you know it's not a big deal or anything it has this little ruler here on the back um you know field books usually used by scientists but hey i think that they're they're nice to um, use for my um, projects. I have a, a few that I keep around as well. Um, another thing is um, I would not suggest using this as the most accurate ruler. Um, just <laughs> think that printed rulers probably aren't the best. So there's a couple of little, little journals where you can put, um, use it however you like, but um, so I've got two pens. So one of them is this beautiful, like sparkly purple pen that's going in the bag. And then I also have this really special knit crate pen. And what's really cool about this is it's a stylus, okay, on one side, basically something you can use um, on your phone or tablet if, if you like. It is kind of lightweight. Um, I personally prefer the the um, heavier weight ones, but it does have knit crate on it with the with the yarn on there. And then, if you push this in, oh, it's a it's a ballpoint pen too. So if you don't want to use it as a as a um, stylus, you can also use it as a pen. It writes with black ink. Um, so <laughs> that's another thing I have in here. So are you ready to see some more? Okay. So I've got some different kinds of stuff in here. Just got to get it all out here for you. <laughs> I'm so excited about this, guys. So first off, let me tell you about this mug. Uh, let me see. Okay. <laughs> so sorry. This mug is my mug. Okay. I'm not giving you this mug. The mug that I'm going to give you is going to be packaged like this. Okay. This, this is actually the literal mug. Okay, it's all bubble wrapped and packaged up and so that it won't break and everything. But this one's mine and this is what it looks like. It's just, it's a Lion Brand um, mug. So it says Lion Brand 1878. Um, and this is a coffee mug. Obviously it's in the middle of winter, right? And so, um, at least for those of us in the Northern Hemisphere, okay. and. So having something to keep your nice warm drinks, whether it's tea or coffee or hot chocolate or whatever it is that you prefer, um, I thought that that would make a good addition to the giveaway. So I'm going to go ahead and put mine way over there because I don't, I don't want to accidentally give anybody my coffee cup. <laughs> don't worry, I'll remember. It's, you know, packaged up. But yeah, um, just wanted to show you what you would be getting. It's black and all of that. So um, speaking of Lion Brand, I also have this Lion Brand color wheel. Um, this is just a great, great gadget. I'm not going to take it out of the plastic here, but you, you can um, basically move this around and you can come up with like every single one of these will show you what happens if you add these colors with any of the colors over here. Um, you also have a little bit of a gray scale here. It talks about primary colors, secondary colors. Um, of course, if I don't know if you can see throughout through this warning here <laughs> on the bag, but on this side, it's also it also helps you with triads, split complementaries, and complementaries, etc. And it, it's just a really nice tool to have um, when you are doing any kind of work with color work. Um, so I've got that for you guys as well. And yes, I'm still putting these things in the bag because I don't know. All right, let's let's these little. Okay, so I have some fuzzy socks. They have a little sheep on it. It's a little ram. Isn't that cute? Yeah, it's fuzzy socks. It's white and gray for those in case the color isn't showing up very well. See, it was nice and bright and sunny outside, and then it got um, overcast and even rain today. So. Um, Unfortunately, my light isn't as nice as I thought it would be, but yeah, they're nice. It's just a pair of fuzzy socks. Tried to keep it gender neutral, guys, okay? <laughs> um, but so I've got some of those. And then 
we also have this now I got to tell you and, and the the price tag still on here you know what I'm gonna go ahead and take it off but this was not very expensive let me just put it that way <laughs> I got I got it at big lots and I ended up picking up a bu bunch of them just as stocking stuffers for like my sister and my daughter and myself and <laughs> you know and all of that and I and I got I got a whole bunch of them and so it's it's got a little um scrubby with it but I want to want to make sure you see it's smaller than my hand okay so it's a small scrubby and there is a scented body wash it is spiced apple and caramel doesn't that sound divine and it also comes with body lotion and you know some people like it some people don't I, I know that at least in my family there's like a really huge division about whether or not you like it or you don't like lotion but lotion can really help you um help your hands if you if you like to massage your hands in now if you just a just a tip if you don't like to use lotion you might want to look into um getting carrier oils um to just kind of rub a little bit of oil on your hands you don't even you just put a couple of drops on there and then rub it in and, and it just it's a great massage experience and it keeps your your hands nice and um moisturized during the winter when they're more likely to get cracked you know and, and all of that and you know, nobody likes that so i decided to throw this in like i said i got it big lots it was it was very inexpensive so i don't i mean not that i want to just include a bunch of cheap gifts or anything but i just thought it was such a great idea so i, I decided to get an extra one for this giveaway and then the puzzle um for this is called knitten kittens isn't that cute? I actually um, picked up a couple of these when I was um, shopping for puzzles for my giveaways. So I will have, um, I, I have, I have a couple of these, this particular puzzle. Okay. So I just wanted to let you guys know that if for whatever reason you don't win this time, you might be able to win it later on. It's a 500 piece puzzle, guys. I don't like to, I don't want to give you too big of a puzzle. I want it to be fun. And of course, it's got balls of yarn. Of course, it's, it's knitting kitten and kittens. So you've got the knitting needles in there. But I don't think that that um, would bother at least me so much. <laughs> so we have this 500 piece puzzle. Um, might be fun to put together with um, our child or a grandchild um, or you might want to just keep it for yourself and put it together yourself you know hey I just know that um, in addition to um, the wonderful things we can do with crochet and knitting and all of that having a color coloring books and having other ways to express ourselves and just work our minds can be really nice and most crafty people appreciate other crafts so i wanted to include this so um you know what i forgot to show you another bag that i'm throwing in <laughs> so this now this really is a flimsy bag but i get these with my hobium orders all the time and i just decided to throw an extra one in okay i use these as well but they're not they're not as durable it's also it's also in like turkish i think so that's kind of cool. You get something in a different language. <laughs> I, I just decided to throw it in because I have so many of them. Okay. And so, you guys, um, let me go ahead and remove some of this from the table so I can fit the yarn on. And for those of you who saw my, um, <laughs> for those of you who saw my preview, I could not fit all of the yarn that I'm going to put in this giveaway on my table. So <laughs> anyway, so the first yarn that I am including in this giveaway, some of you guys saw it in my Mystery Box Monday. It is the Thickish Yarn from Gouche. It, it has yellows, oranges, and reds. Um, and I personally think it's gorgeous. I know it's kind of bright, but you know in the middle of winter again midwinter giveaway um you know sometimes we need to remember that the light's coming back <laughs> okay so we've got five skeins of it um it's 100 percent acrylic the thickest yarn is the one that i said feels kind of like terry cloth okay and um I am sure that if, if you didn't want to make like a blanket or something like that with it, it would probably make um, good for a towel even. Um, just something to, um, because it, it, I imagine it would be really absorbent. So you could use this for a lot of stuff. Um, 
So it is a four weight yarn and each one of these is um, a 3.3 .3 ounce and it's 139 yards. So you get, let's see, about 600 yards here, <laughs> maybe a little bit more. So we've got five of them in the giveaway. So I'm gonna put this a little bit off to the side still can see a couple of them so you don't forget they're in the, in here and I also wanted to now I kind of had to think hard about whether or not I wanted to include these but I decided that I would and here's why um, now I don't like to put red heart um, yarn in my mystery bags they're really nice kinds like uh, the unforgettable but I got this in one of my Mary Maxim I believe it was Mary Maxim. It could have been something else. Uh, mystery bags recently, and I love the texture of it. I absolutely love it. Um, however, I got so much of it that um, I knew that I would not use it all myself. So I decided, you know what? I'm going to put six of these here in my giveaway. That way, um, now there's 204 yards in, in each one of these, so that would be about 1200 yards okay let's see two times yeah <laughs> 1200 yards so that should be enough to make a throw or an afghan um you know or a hat and scarf set or whatever you like but just know it's this red heart soft and it is really soft i'm really surprised with how soft it is so for those of you who might be skeptical about, I don't know, I don't know if I really want some Red Heart, give it a chance, seriously. The only reason I'm giving this away is that I just, um, these particular colors wouldn't match any of my indoor decorations, okay? So, so just know that. And that's why I wanted to put all six of them in there too. I didn't want to just give a couple of them because I know that they're not um, real high-end yarns. So the next yarn, the, the rest of them are higher end, okay? So we've got the Knit Crate, I'm not gonna try to pronounce it, U-R-U yarn. This is called Cotton Basic. It is a cotton yarn. It is really, really soft. Um, this is um, organic Pima cotton. It's a DK weight. Um, and this is a really nice indigo color. Like, is it blue, is it purple? just don't know it's indigo beautiful color I thought that um, this would make a great addition for anybody who wants to um, make really nice dish rags maybe or cotton socks whatever you know it's it's beautiful so I've got that also that wonderful wonderful um, small shop Saturday that I did recently um, dragon fright fright yarns dragon fl dragon flight yarns there <laughs> i want to make sure i say it right they're on etsy very very talented um if you haven't seen that video you should check it out because seriously or just check out the shop because they're it's very very talented this is an rn weight 166 yards it is 100 percent superwash merino wool and this is called nightmare before christmas and it's based on that movie. And I believe that this one's supposed to look like Sally, but it's got just all these different colors in it. So pretty. So I just moved the light so you could see it a little bit better. Um, and yeah, I just, it's just so pretty. And so I've got that in here. And then I have, here is the Noro that I include in all of my giveaways. Again, this is, um, this is, it might not be showing up right on the screen, but this is actually a beautiful like brown slash spring green. It's it's like it looks like fle freshly turned soil in the grass just starting to grow. And the name of this now on here it's in Japanese, and I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. Um, just so you know, it is 45%. Um, silk, 43% wool, and 12% mohair, okay, so really nice. Um, but the name of it is something like um, Spring is Coming or the First Day of Spring, something like that. So I wanted to keep this in the midwinter giveaway to remind us, just like with, <laughs> just like with this beautiful fiery yarn, that 
winter is not going to be here forever, okay? Because <laughs> some people need reminding. Now, I have uh, one more really special thing that I am going to be adding, and it's not going to look like this when it gets to you, okay? It's not going to look like this when it gets to you, um, because when it gets to you, these are going to be dyed, all right? And I just wanted to tell you what these are. This is from Knit Picks. They, they sell regular yarn and they also sell bear yarn for people who dye yarn so it's from knit picks this is wool of the andes it's a worsted weight 220 yards 100 um, grams it's got the care instructions on the back it also um, tells you it's 100 percent peruvian highland wool it's a um, weight four i'll go ahead and put this also here in the bag for you so you so you know that um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these cakes of yarn, I'm going to, one at a time, in my dye pot, okay? And then I'm going to add dye to it, all around it, and I'm going to see if I can create a gradient. Now, I don't know what's going to happen, okay? It might end up just soaking up all the dye and it'll just be, you know, the same thing or a tonal or whatever. Or it could be that on the outside it's a little bit darker and it and it continues to get lighter to the middle we don't know we don't know how it's going to look like but however it turns out um, you will be able to see that on the channel when i do it because i am going to be filming it when i do that and uh, just so you know so you can kind of get an idea um, i'm going to be using a turquoise which is on the bluer side of turquoise and i'm going to be using a purple which is going to be kind of like a true purple okay and it's going to be acid dye so it's going to be done really nice and professionally okay and uh, we'll see what happens <laughs> so if you want to see what these are going to be looking like once they get to you um, just know that you can watch that video all right so can you believe it? That's it. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> Alrighty. So now that I have shown you everything in the giveaway, I want to tell you how to enter. All right. So um, these terms and conditions, real important that, to YouTube that you listen. Okay. So please listen. YouTube is not affiliated with this giveaway in any way. This is funded by me for subscribers to Nishcraft. This giveaway is open to residents of the United States and Canada only. To enter, you must subscribe to Nishcraft, like this video, and leave a comment. And what I want you to do is go to somewhere else on the channel and watch another one of my videos. It doesn't matter if you watch it in um, double time, if you decide to just put it on and not watch it at all, or if you decide to watch it because you just love watching my videos. Then what I want you to come back and do is comment with the um, video that you watched and what you thought about it. All right. Um, and as long as you're nice. OK. I mean, if somebody starts being hateful, of course, you know, I'll just go ahead and delete that comment. <laughs> I just wanted to kind of put that in, too. Um, so I will choose a winner by random comment picker at 6 p.m. Central on December 21st, okay? That is midwinter day, um, or the shortest day of the year for those of us in the North Hemisphere. Um, just wanna kind of throw it out there because I've been sick lately and I, I wanna make sure that I get this out and you guys are very informed. If I do not pick it, um, then I will, what I do is if I miss the day that I'm supposed to pick it, I give it one more full 24 hours and I pick it at 6 p.m. the next day, okay? So I will either pick it on the 21st or the 22nd if I don't pick it on the 21st, okay? Um, just so you know, but the 20th is my birthday, so I'm probably going to be <laughs> able to remember when to pick this, okay? <laughs> so, um, so the winner must leave a comment with that information about which video you watched and what you thought about it um, in their comment to qualify. Because when I pick the winner, I'm going to be looking at the comment they use. And if they don't mention that they watched another video and what they thought about it, then I'm going to have to pick somebody else. So make sure you put that in your comment. Once selected, the winner must email me with a mailing address within 10 days of the announcement of the winner. All right, guys. And if I do not get contacted within 10 days, I will pick a new winner, okay? I just wanted to make sure that you guys knew that. 
And for those of you who want to help me even more, this is not obligatory to enter to win, but you can share this video with your friends, um, tell somebody about my channel. I would love that. Um, we have a channel wish list. All of that goes back to the channel or either goes towards my Etsy store and helping me, you know, keep things up there. Um, and I also have an Etsy store. You might want to check that out. Um, and I think that's all I can, that's all I can remember. So um, that said, good luck to all who enter. I am so excited about this giveaway. I hope you guys are too. And I will see you soon in another video. Bye for now.